and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be testing out these cheap acrylic paints from B&M and I'm also going to try out one of the canvases that I bought so make sure you watch to see how these paints perform. The cheap acrylic paint set that I bought from B&M is this 18 complete acrylic starter kit. Each of the tubes are 36ml and it is by the brand Brunel Franklin, which I think is B&M's own brand. And this entire set cost me $5.99, so it is very, very affordable, considering you get a really good range of colours within the set. Each of the paint tubes is sealed by a little piece of foil, so if you don't have those on your paints, then make sure you take them back because it shows that they have been used or opened before. Now this is where my first concerns lie. When I started to set out my palette, each of these paints are so so runny. Just look at them. I mean that is not the texture of an acrylic paint that I am used to. I'm used to an acrylic paint holding its form, however these ones just seem to run out and they're really, really runny. Just look at the texture of this, it's really sticky. It's really bizarre. Now, the swatches, I have to say, they weren't great. They are really translucent, the paints just take forever to build up, and whilst it's still a little bit wet, it's just pulling all of that paint directly off of the page. And I was not impressed with these at all at this stage. And I was quite concerned that I wasn't going to be able to create an actual painting on my canvas with these paints. Let me know what you think so far of these acrylic paints. So if you have used them, how have you gotten on with them? So as you can see, they're very translucent. I couldn't build up a very deep colour with these on the swatch. So I set up my canvas, I'm using one of the cheap canvases that I got in my pack from my B&M art haul. And if you're interested in seeing that haul, I will leave a link of that one in the description box. So I just prepped my canvas with an orange paint. I didn't use an orange acrylic from my cheap acrylic paint set from B&M. This is a paint that I already had at home. Now I'm just sketching out a Monstera plant with my cheap acrylic paints. I'm using a paintbrush for this and going straight in on top of my canvas because I'm hoping I'll be able to just cover up any of the mistakes that I have made or the areas that I don't want to fill in with my paint um, towards the end of the painting. So we'll see how that goes and if this paint's any good at covering up any of those sorts of little minor mistakes. And I'm just mixing up different varieties of green, adding some blue tones within this piece. We already knew that these paints were going to be pretty thin from the swatches that we did a little while ago, but I wasn't quite prepared for how much time it would take to cover up the areas on this painting. It took me so many layers to get this painting looking somewhat decent. And even then I found that the canvas prep was showing through. So the paint was lifting up paints that I had already laid down and it was fairly frustrating. The other thing that I found quite annoying was the fact that you can't build up many textures with this paint. It's a very, very flat paint to use and if you're wanting to get a bit of body or an impasto style with your paints, you're going to have to purchase additional art mediums. And to be honest, this paint is just not worth adding to your expensive art mediums, if I'm perfectly frank. Now, I know that these paints are really geared towards students. So students who are going to be learning how to use acrylic paints. And if you are a student that is looking for a cheap set of acrylic paints, then I think these ones would be fine for experimentation in a sketchbook. But if you're looking for a set of paints for a final piece, then I would definitely look for a better quality paint than 
these ones because I think you will just get frustrated using them. And there are plenty of good student grade acrylic paints on the market and I think it would be better to learn how to use acrylic paints from a thicker bodied acrylic paint because you're going to want to learn how to use those textures and that form within your paintings and you just can't do that with these thinner acrylic paints. Once I had layered up my paints quite a bit, I found that they started to blend on top quite well. So I was able to use the blending method for these acrylic paints. So I would give them that redeeming factor that they do then blend quite well with one another to create sort of a seamless blend between your lights and your darks. And I was also quite pleased with some of the highlights that I included in my leaves. So I used the lightest blue within the set for some of my highlights and I am quite pleased with how it's turning out so far. The canvas has been absolutely fine to work on. I found that there were no issues with that at all. So if you're looking to practice on a canvas, then the B&M ones I think are really, really good value. I got three canvases in total of different sizes for $4.99 from B&M. And I think that for students, these canvases work absolutely perfectly. So I would definitely recommend B&M for their canvases for your high school art projects. So definitely check those out for that. I'm really interested to develop this style further in my painting. So adding lots of foliage into my artwork because I absolutely love plants. Let me know in the comments what you think of this painting so far and what you think I should paint next. Okay, now on to the painting of the background and I have mixed up a light pink. Now when I'm mixing these colours, it's very, very much like adding two pouring acrylics to one another. They just start to kind of bleed outwards when you're adding one colour on top of the other. And it's really bizarre actually how these paints work together. So I would say that these paints are very, very similar to an acrylic pouring paint. So when I was adding in my background, I had the same issues. It was pulling up some of the paints that I had already laid down that had allowed to dry. So that was a bit frustrating. And as you can see, I have allowed some of the original orange to show through around the edges of my leaves, which is what I was intending for this painting. And it's it's the reason why I prepped the canvas with that orange paint. I ended up using the entire white tube of paint within this set and it still hasn't fully covered all of the areas that I wanted it to. Overall, I think these paints are okay, but really only for sketchbook work. I would recommend getting the De La Rowney System 3 acrylics over these ones. So there you have it. That was my video testing out those B&M paints. Let me know in the comments what you think of the quality of them and if you're going to give them a go. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any of my videos and if you have enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!